Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Today we are starting the Make Home Life a Priority series for 2017. And I mentioned this in my New Year's video and I'm really excited to start it off. So I'm going to have a series of videos. It'll be an ongoing series over time. They won't be in a row. But the aim for these videos is to hopefully inspire you to make your home life a priority. You know, this is a big passion of mine. It's something that I work on in my everyday life, personally, and I think that it's something that um, can really change your life. If you're struggling in any aspect of your life, if you check out what's going on at home, it really is surprising that much of what you do at home affects you in the outside world. So we're going to be discussing that in this series. Really quickly, I wanted to mention that um, if you see this little bouquet of flowers right here, this is a I have some faux flowers, and some of you who've watched my channel know that I do like to use faux flowers throughout the year. And so my um, youngest daughter collected all of the Christmas faux flowers that I had, and then they had some silk uh, roses in their bedroom, and she combined them. And she said, Mommy, you should use this on your blog. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, both of my daughters are really interested in this blog. I mean, they want to, they, They'll put, um, my, my other one put blueberries on her oatmeal the other day and she said, mommy, this should be on your blog. <laughs> they both give me recipe ideas, decorating ideas. I mean, they really wanna be on this thing. So I don't know, maybe one, one day you will get to meet them. They love home life. And that's another reason why I'm even mentioning this to tie it in, is that if you love home life, you will impart that onto your children. They will love living at home, life at home, they'll be interested in the home arts, whether they're boys or girls. Now, of course, my boy is a baby right now, but I'm sure that <laughs> I will get to know this over time. But it doesn't matter, you know, who you are, you can love life at home and, and all the various comforts that go along with that. So, anyway, I just, isn't this adorable? She, I did not touch it, this is what she did with it. So, I actually think it's really beautiful. You know, and from far away, it looks it looks real to me. Of course, there's no water in the base. I had leaves covering it, but I can do that later. That is um, her contribution to my post today. So today, in this first opening video, I want to talk about distractions. And I've talked about this before, but it, I think that it is good to revisit it again. Distractions are just everywhere, and if you have a home life where you feel completely overwhelmed, like, what am I going to cook for dinner? The living room is a mess. The kitchen is a mess. I have to pay bills. I need to do my work. I need to do this. I need to spend quality time with my children. I need to spend quality time with my husband. It can feel completely overwhelming. So instead of dealing with those things that we should actually be doing with our home life, so many of us, myself included, turn to distractions. Now, what are popular distractions? I'm sure we all can answer this question right now. Number one is the internet. It is such a huge distraction. And even, I will sit down and I will be focused, for example. Like the other morning I woke up and I said, you know what, I just need to check the weather, right? So I was planning on doing some reading in the morning before I got up and before the children woke up. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go on my iPhone, to check the weather and I go but somehow I ended up on Instagram and then a friend who I hadn't who hadn't posted in like three years posted something on Instagram and I thought oh she's back on Instagram so then I'm looking at her account <laughs> wondering what she's been up to and then I'm like oh she's doing this now so then I'm looking at her website as soon as I know it 10 minutes have passed and I'm I haven't even checked the weather I don't know what the weather is and I didn't um, get to do the study that I was going to do before I woke up, or before I got up. Just go down the rabbit hole, you will find one thing, and then you'll just follow that trail, and as soon as you know it, you've wasted so much time. So the internet is a major distraction for me. For other people, it could be the television, you know, just watching a TV show, or um, daytime television, or binging on Netflix, for example. You find a show you like and you'll watch one episode. It's so good that you just watch the next one and I'll just do one more, you know, <laughs> that type of thing that we've all done. 
Um, Netflix, what else is another distraction? I honestly think all screens are the biggest distraction. So it's the internet, it's the television. Um, what else do I have here? Okay, for many people, books are a distraction as well, although I think it's very important to read books. And so that's not, you know, it's not, none of these things are bad. And that's why in this video, I want to encourage you to channel your distractions and make them work for you. So I have distractions as well. I love watching YouTube videos. And um, for those of you who are curious about who some of my favorite YouTubers are, I can't mention all of them, but I will list them below because I get that all the time. Who do, you, who do I watch on YouTube? Who do I like on YouTube? So check the info box below and you'll see a list of some of my favorites. They're not all of my favorites because I'm sure I'm going to leave some out, but some of my favorites. Um, but I love watching YouTube videos, you know, cooking videos on YouTube. I just love YouTube. So if you like YouTube or if you like reading or if you like listening to um, radio or even things like sermons online, Here's how you can make it work for you. So what you can do, and this is what I do, is I won't deprive myself of those things. I will set up my YouTube, my computer in the kitchen, for example, and I'll put on a YouTube video while I'm cleaning the kitchen. And you know I like to set timers when I clean. Well, for example, if I have a YouTube video that's roughly 15 minutes long or 20 minutes long that I really wanna watch, I'll just put it up, or even put it up on my television, and I'll just clean the kitchen while I watch it. And it, it makes it go by so fast, and I'll find that even if I finish before the video's over, I'll keep doing things while I'm watching the video. Uh, doing this makes laundry so much easier to fold. All of these chores that, yes, you can be mindful as well while you're doing the chores, and I do advocate mindfulness when you're doing chores, but you can also treat yourself too. I mean, this is not, you don't have to be so disciplined that you must focus on washing the dish, you know? <laughs> I think there's no trouble in um, watching a show, watching YouTube, doing something at the same time, listening to an audiobook. You can get through books so fast if you do it that way. So I really think that it's great to make your distractions work for you somehow. Now it's hard to make Facebook work for you when you're trying to do other things. So that's hard. I mean, I think with things like Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, all of that, you need to be very disciplined um, and maybe set a timer for yourself and say, okay, I'm going to go on Facebook for 10 minutes today and that's it and just wait until like the three o'clock hour or wherever it is, what, whatever time it is that you wanna do it. Set your timer. As soon as the timer goes off, you need to log off and get out and then don't go on until the next day. That's one way that you could do it. Um, I don't have too much of a Facebook distraction. I rarely, I don't post anything hardly on my personal Facebook page, just like once every few months. And um, you know, my personal page, uh, my, public author page as well. I actually don't post too much, although you should follow me on there because I do post. Um, but I don't find it to be that big of a distraction, but I know that other people do. So for some people, they're on it all day long, you know? So if that's you, just look into that basically. But if you can make your, um, your entertainment distractions work for you, that helps you keep your home in order. I listen to sermons, I listen to radio shows, I listen to podcasts, um, I listen to audiobooks also while I'm doing long jobs like cleaning. Right now um, tax season is coming up in a few months and I have a lot of tax paperwork uh, to go through such as expenses and receipts and I need to do spreadsheets and th that is tedious boring stuff for me that takes a long time so I definitely listen to things while I'm doing that and it just sweetens the journey it just makes it nice. You could watch my YouTube videos while you <laughs> clean your kitchen and feel like I'm right there with you championing you on. So that is my encouragement for you today, is to identify your distractions. Write them down on a sheet of paper and just be really honest with yourself. Also, you could record yourself. So if you do go on the internet, just record how much time you spend each day on the internet. And let's say you took that time, let's say it's an hour. What if you took that time to actually do something for your home, to organize it, to declutter it, to clean it? or to spend quality time with your family instead of the time that you do this thing that's distracting you. 
What if you could combine them and help and have the best of both worlds where you do some of that thing that you love on the internet or whatever it is that you're doing while you bless your home in this sense. So I think that this is a great way to start. I would love to know what your distractions at home are and be really honest and just leave them in the comment section below because I guarantee you're not alone. Whatever it is, there is somebody who has the same problem, I'm sure. So this year, let us acknowledge our distractions at home and make them work for us. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You just have to click the red subscribe button on my YouTube channel, and then you can click the little bell right next to it if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.